Hey guys, it's One Wolf Girl 300. Today I'm going to show you around the garden. I know I haven't done any videos for a long time, but uh, here it is. I'm going to show you all the permaculture things I've been working on, which includes uh, me starting to collect a few perennials around and uh, get some nut, uh, not nut trees, but fruit trees. And we also have some berry vines and bushes going on right now. So I'm going to take you around the yard and show you what's up with our Hey guys, so one of the first things you see as you walk out my back door is this beautiful ornamental. It's called Celosia. Now, surprisingly enough, this beautiful ornamental is actually edible. Certain, certain strains are anyways. This is also called a uh, coxcomb, but it's really nice because near me it's kind of a perennial. Uh, I can cheat and take it inside, but they self-seed really easily and I think at the end of the season I'm going to be ready to save some of these seeds and hopefully have some of this in my salad. Now right near the celosia, that's not edible, that's just pretty, <laughs> when the flowers are out anyways, I have old recycle bins that are actually recycled and I'm currently using them to grow food. So. One of the things that you'll actually be able to see right now is um, creeping thyme. And I come out here and take snacks off of this for lunches and uh, soups and stuff. And it's really nice to have this perennial herb. So right next to the thyme, in here is some ginger roots. Ginger roots are also perennial in my area. Just uh, a reminder, we are in zone 9-ish. I could, uh, I'll probably just harvest this uh, towards the end of fall and plant a few more in spring. And over here is another lovely perennial. This mouse trap is to keep my dog out. Under here is uh, sunchokes, and sunchokes are actually these kind of gigantic flowers. They're also known as Jerusalem artichokes. Uh, we planted these in here a couple days ago, so nothing really happening yet, but that's where it's at. And if you look right here, this beauty, it's a gigantic apple tree. And uh, this like 10 foot apple tree, I got it on sale. So like I said, I work at a nursery and I get uh, like 20% off of anything that I buy there. And so when a customer returned this, it was originally a bear root. And uh, that bear root tree was purchased maybe two years ago. And since then it grew, they decided they didn't want it and they returned it. So I got this entire tree for about 13 bucks because we had a sale that day. Uh, anything living was 20% off. I got my 20% off and the tree was originally, I think 20-ish dollars, somewhere around there. It was really nice, really cool to get this gigantic tree for a very small amount. And then I just repotted it in uh, my own soil plus some of the native soil that it came with. So next to these little bins is uh, we walk right through the chicken gate. We'll see our next. Uh... These are our next thing. They are potatoes that we are growing in cages. Now, we're not necessarily doing the burying type where you uh, grow your potatoes. What I'm doing is I'm trying to save space with this. So, there's actually a few layers of potatoes and then they pop out the side. Uh, the potatoes we're growing in here are some. Uh, red and uh, some yellow ones and a couple that we just got from the store that we're getting old and we threw in. They all seem to be doing really well right now. If you want any more information on this, I should post a video about them. I don't know if I already have it up or I uh, could be after this one. I'm pretty sure you tree in the background from the potatoes. This is our cherry tree. Uh, this is the first time we've ever grown a cherry tree and uh, I got this as a bare root this spring and um, yeah it's in a bucket uh, in a Home Depot bucket. I don't know that I'm allowed to say it's from Home Depot but I'm sure you all know. Um, 
the tree is not from Home Depot. We just got the bucket there because I didn't have any uh, five gallon pots that were tall enough to cover the roots for this. Those cherries is an avocado tree. Now, it's a very sad avocado tree and I have a reason. Once again, a customer returned a tree that was supposedly dead and I'm trying to bring it back. It only has one little leaf and it's struggling really hard, but I am going to try and bring it back. You can see the, the top of it is already just gone. I really hope that I can bring it back because that would be cool. I'd have a free tree um, and it'd be really awesome to bring it back from the brink. But unfortunately, I don't think it's going to make it. It lost uh, three of its remaining leaves and uh, it's only got one left. So past this section with the two fruit trees and the potatoes and uh, also past the aquaponic system is a peach tree in front of my garden. I got this peach tree um, a few years ago from my grandparents and I thank them so much for that. It is totally loaded with peaches right now and uh, so much so we had to thin a few of them off but it's got a few problems. I'll show you a picture of it. It's uh, some of the fruit were too close so we had to pinch some of those off and some of them were just too heavy for the branches. We actually put this up so that some of the branches can lean on it so the fruit, uh, so the fruit don't break the branch. Uh, it also does have some leaf curl which is a concern. Uh, I have some spray for that. I'm going to be spraying it again tonight and hopefully we can clear up that problem. Just the peaches over here. Um, we have a few things. So we have those strawberries over there, which are perennial in my uh, in that palette. We also have that plum tree up there, which is uh, really nice. Uh, this plum tree is about 40 years old. My other grandparents who used to live at this house actually planted that tree. Um, it's really awesome. It puts out a ton of plums every year, and they are delicious, and we make jam. Actually, Right through that gate is where the next set of our food is going to be at. And uh, actually I wanted to show you this real quick. This is our apple tree. I almost forgot about it because it blends in so well next to the other tree. Uh, and this one is actually, we bought this at the same time as the cherry tree. It, this one is grafted. So it has Fuji apple and uh, red delicious on it and something else. I forget what it is. Um, and then down here, it's also planted in a bucket. We didn't have pots for it at the time. <clears throat> and I almost forgot to mention this little guy down here. This is a perennial and uh, I haven't had it before, but my aunt says that she eats it all the time. She grows it in her uh, tower systems. We don't have any of those, but she says that they're delicious. The flowers are also gorgeous. We accidentally got this from our neighbor's yard and uh, it just went out of control over here. So we're trying to keep it in a little pocket and we'll see if we succeed this year. Anyways, through this gate is, uh, well, a cat and also our other perennials. We have some thornless blackberries, some thorn blackberry, triple crown raspberries, which some people are triple crown, crown blackberries to them. Also uh, a couple of other just regular uh, raspberries. One of them uh, is a canby raspberry, I believe, and the other we got from a neighbor's yard. Uh, they just gave it to us. It was very nice of them, and uh, it's growing really well, too. Up over here is a persimmon tree, which I have greatly pruned this year. Uh, this is also 40 years old, like the plum that uh, produces a lot over by the garden. It is doing amazing since I pruned it. There are so many flowers on it and uh, it's just, we're going to have a ton of fruit this year. It's going to be amazing. Past the persimmon tree, we have some grapes growing on. I believe they are conquered grapes. Uh, we're hoping to get mm, at least the plant to grow tall enough to reach that second set on the trellis. Uh, I'm not really expecting any fruit this year. It's just they're very young and we just put them in this season. So we'll see how those turn out. So here is where the mess begins. We have a lot of fruit and some vegetables going on. This is our Swiss chard. It technically is not a perennial, but it reseeds itself so well that it basically could be. 
Uh, down here you can see that even through our ground cover, we have some, uh, some popping up. And there's matting under there, there's, uh, there's rocks on top, and it still grows. So, uh, past these plants we have a lot of fruit and berry bush tree things. So this tree right here is a tangerine. And um, we really like tangerines, which is why I wanted to get it separate from that orange tree back there. That's just a regular navel orange. Uh, but I like how sweet some of the smaller ones can be. So we got tangerines also. We have a um, pomegranate tree right here. Yeah, this one's the pomegranate tree. Uh, it's doing really well. I thought we'd killed it back in winter, but it uh, looks like it sprang back. Uh, back there is a Meyer lemon which are super sweet, and most people don't know why they're so sweet. It's because it's a cross between a lemon and an orange. So uh, that's why they are delicious. And I will always recommend that lemon to anyone who is buying from our nursery because uh, Meyer lemons are just such sweeter than, so much sweeter than uh, any of the other lemon trees that we have out there. We also have uh, oh, by the way, that lemon is actually not from our nursery. That was before I started working there. This is um, blueberry. We have another type of blueberry back there. There's a third blueberry and a fourth blueberry. And in here, we have something pretty cool. It's called a pink lemonade blueberry. And the blueberries are actually pink, not blue. We thought those were really cute. So we got a couple of those. We also have, right up here, uh, I think this one is an apricot, maybe it's a nectarine, let's see. Just kidding, it's a peach tree! <laughs> so we do have one peach back here in, uh, in a bucket, and, or not a bucket, in an actual pot this time, and this one must be the nectarine, let's see. Yep, this one is a nectarine see the tag too well. But this one is a nectarine and right over here is our, it's either a grapefruit or a pomelo. We've had it for a really long time but we've never been able to get the fruit off of it because it uh, doesn't get hot enough here which is why we think it's a pomelo. Plus it has such a, a thick skin on it. Uh, yeah. Hey guys that's it. Thanks so much for watching. You have any comments or questions go ahead and put them down below. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Okay, so uh, here is a list. I totally forgot to add these, so I wrote them down here. Uh, this is a total list of our perennials. Um, some of these you didn't get to see because I made the videos a while back and then I added some more since then. So as of May 18th, 2015, this is what we have. Um, a few of the things you didn't get to see, like the, uh, the Asian pears or a few of the new blueberry plants. Uh, I never actually showed you the banana plants that I have, but I do have three of them. I have two California gold that are going to be uh, going outside soon. And I also have one dwarf that I forgot uh, what kind it is, but that's inside. Um, so this is it. Uh, we have about 93 individual plants. If you're not counting big things like the strawberries, the potatoes, or things that add up quick like the celosia or chard or any kind of greens, we have about 50 main plants. So things like the ginger or big fruit uh, or other berry kind of bushes or trees things. Uh, there's about 50 of those. Overall there's 40 varieties including the bananas now. And uh, I think as far as diversity goes, that our perennials are looking pretty good. Uh, also, I bought a seed tray recently um, with, a, with a heat mat, and so I'm trying to add a few more things. Something I'm working on growing is um, macadamia nuts. And surprisingly enough, I can grow these around here. So those are in my seed tray, and maybe I'll make a video about those once they've sprouted, but I'm um, just going to use a heat mat to get them started. Anyways, thanks again for watching. See you guys again soon.